Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. We have some announcements. Intention envelopes for the eternal repose of our departed are available at the altar near the admin office. Once filled, you may drop them at the intention box near it. To help you prepare for the birth of our Lord and live a more inspired life, you are invited to attend Crossroads, a pre-Advent retreat. This is conducted by the Servants of the Lord's Vineyard Catholic Community. Crossroads is scheduled today, November 19, and tomorrow, November 20, at the St. Scholastica Center of Spirituality in Tagaytay City. This is designed for ages 18 to 65 years old. For further inquiries, you may visit their Facebook page at Solve Crossroads. And the Missionaries of the Poor, a religious founded by Father Richard Hollong in the service of the poor and the destitute, brings to you Isaiah, the first ever reggae opera written by Father Hollong himself. It will be shown today and tomorrow, November 20, at the Braga Theater in Don Bosco Technical Institute, Makati. Tickets are available at the chapel office. All proceeds of this production will go to the service of the poor and the needy they served by the missionaries of the poor. Thank you. Let us all kneel and recite the prayer for our departed loved ones, Novena to Christ the King and Horatio Imperata against COVID-19. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Prayer for the departed loved ones, together. Almighty God, who by the love which you have for all people, have deigned to take our humanity, to live a life of hard work, to suffer a most cruel passion, and finally to die on the cross. I beseech you, by the infinite merits purchased for us, with your precious blood, look mercifully on the sufferings endured by the holy souls in purgatory. Accept, O merciful God, the prayers which I offer for them and call them to the glory of heaven. I recommend to you the souls of my relatives, friends, and benefactors, and in a special manner, those to whom I may have been an occasion of sin by my bad example. Most Holy Virgin, Mother of Mercy, Comforter of the Afflicted, intercede for those souls that by your powerful intercession they may be admitted to enjoy that kingdom which is prepared for them. Amen. Novena to Christ the King. Together, Almighty and Merciful God, you break the power of evil and make all things new in your Son, Jesus Christ, the King of the universe. May all in heaven and earth acclaim your glory and never cease to praise you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Novena Prayer O Lord our God, you alone are the most holy King and ruler of all nations. We pray to you, Lord, in the great expectation of receiving from you, O Divine King, mercy, peace, justice, and all good things. Protect, O Lord, our King, our families, and the land of our birth. Guard us, we pray, most faithful one. Protect us from our enemies and from your just judgment. Forgive us, O sovereign King, our sins against you. Jesus, you are a King of mercy. 
we have deserved your just judgment. Have mercy on us, Lord, and forgive us. We trust in your great mercy. O most awe-inspiring King, we bow before you and pray. May your reign, your kingdom, be recognized on earth. Amen. Orasha Imperata against COVID-19. Together, merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is November 19, 2022, Saturday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our chaplain, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us sing the entrance hymn. Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Around this table we dine as kin. Beloved family of God, we share the body of Christ the Lord. Here we become what we eat. Gather the people, enter the feast. All are invited, the greatest and least. The banquet is ready now to be shared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. Join in the heavenly feast that God has prepared. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries. Let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. 
I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Here are my two witnesses. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire comes out of their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, Anyone wanting to harm them is sure to be slain. They have the power to close up the sky so that no rain can fall during the time of their prophesying. They have also power to turn water into blood and to afflict the earth with any plague as often as they wish. When they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the beast we wage war against them and conquer them and kill them. Their corpses will lie in the main street of the great city, which has the symbolic names Sodom and Egypt, where indeed their Lord was crucified. Those from every people, tribe, tongue, and nation will gaze on their corpses for three and a half days and they will not allow their corpses to be buried. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and be glad and exchange gifts because these two prophets tormented the inhabitants of the earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. When they stood up on their feet, great fear fell on this too, on this who saw them. They have heard a loud voice from heaven say to them, Come up here. So they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies looked on. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Hallelujah. 
together, our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. And likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, Whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry, but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well and they no longer dared to ask him anything. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If there is no resurrection, entertain the thought. If there is no resurrection, what will really happen? Can you imagine? There's no resurrection, what will really happen? Someone said, how do you pose that question to children? I simply said, if you will not wake up tomorrow, what will happen? That's the simplest question. If you will not wake up tomorrow, what will happen? Sabi ng isang bata, di ako matutulog. Ano nga mangyayari kung walang muling pagkabuhan? Have you entertained that thought? Charles Darwin, you know him, was caught reading the Bible and someone said, you are a scientist. Why are you reading it? Do you believe what you are reading? And Charles Darwin said, yes. Why do you believe in what you're reading? What in the things you're reading you love most? And Charles Darwin said, the resurrection. And the one asking, why do you believe in the resurrection? Charles Darwin did not insist. He simply said, if there's no resurrection, all of us are losers. If there's no resurrection, all of us are losers. But if there is a resurrection, he did not say there will be, as a scientist, but if there is a resurrection, you lose, I win. That's a simple argument. Can you imagine a waste of time going to church, a waste of time doing good, a waste of time praying, 
if all these things will end up in the grave. Kung hindi tayo mabubuhay magmuli, lahat ng sakripisyo, walang kasaysayan, walang katuturan. Parang halimbawa, may sakit ka at sasabihin sa iyo, hindi ka nagagaling. Para saan pa ang gamot? Ba't ka pa pupunta sa doktor kung hindi ka rin lang gagaling? Hindi po ba? Sabi nga do sa isang matanda, inaanoint ko. Sabi ko do sa matanda, nanay, kayo ba'y naniniwala na kayo ay gagaling pa? Ang sagot sa akin ng matanda, hindi na ako naniniwala, Padre. Sabi ko sa kanya, total di na kayo naniniwala. Para makatipid kayo, huwag na kayong bumili ng gamot. Huwag na kayong uminom ng gamot. Kasi hindi na kayo gagaling. Para saan pa? The hope of the resurrection gives us meaning. The hope of the resurrection does not deny the reality of death. That is the first reading all about. The first reading has spoken about death. Everybody will die. Everybody will die. But the resurrection is only given to those who believe on it. Only those who believe on it. Meron kaming classmate ng elementary na ang bahay nila, nakikiraan siya sa simenteryo. Ang hirap nun. Kaya hindi siya umuwi ng late. Di ba? Ang hirap yata umuwi ng gabi, di ba? No? Pagkasabay namin yun, pagpapasok na sa simenteryo, sumisiga kami, aw! Di ba? No? Pang-asar. Tapos sabi ko, diyan ka nakatira. Sabi, hindi. Nakikiraan lang ako dyan. I never forget that. Nakikiraan lang ako. We never end in the grave. Nakikiraan lang tayo. Hindi naman tayo mabubuhay doon. Pero ano sabi ng ATS? Meron siyang tombstone na kalagay doon. I am fully dressed but no place to go. Yun ang mahirap. You are fully dressed but no place to go. Why? Because in the very beginning, you have denied the person that has saved you and has given you new life. Why? What do I hope? What do I hope when I think of the resurrection? Yung ako'y mabubuhay lang muli? Yung ako ay magigising lang muli? Yun lang ba ang pag-asa ng muling pagkabuhay? Hindi. When I was asked, what do you hope in the resurrection? My simple answer was, I will see my father again. You must have reasons. You must have reasons. If you have no reasons of the resurrection, what are you hoping for? Diba? What are you hoping for? You must hope for something greater than what this world can offer. Hindi lang tayo mamamatay. May muling pagkabuhay at magkikita-kita muli ang mga taong nagmahal. Pero, sabi nga, may dalawang resurrection. Resurrection of the dead and resurrection of the living. Yung mga pupunta sa impyerno, may resurrection din. Magkikita-kita rin uli kayo. Di po ba? No? Yung mga nag-aaway dito, magkikita-kita uli kayo. Di ba? May sarili kayong reunion. Ha? Dalawa lang naman yan. Ha? Smoking or non-smoking? Doon kami sa non-smoking. Ha? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid. Do not be deceived. Pagka minsan, napakadali nating magpaloko. Ha? Alam naman nating temporary lang ang buhay na ito. Alam natin naman mananagot tayo sa harapan ng Diyos. Sabi nga ni San Ignacio ng Loyola, sa iyong pagdarasal araw-araw, huwag mong kakalimutan na ikaw ay tatayo sa harapan ng Diyos. Mananagot ka. Hindi lang doon sa mga bagay na alam ng ibang tao, kundi sa mga bagay na tanging Diyos lang ang nakakaalam. 
Madali kasi magkunwari. We can easily pretend. We can easily pretend. We can lie before people. But nothing is hidden before God. Sabi nga ni Jesus, huwag kang matakot doon sa mga pwedeng pumatay. Matakot ka doon sa pagkatapos kang patayin, isasadla ka pa sa impyerno. Yun ang nakakatakot. You don't be afraid of people who can terminate your life. You must be afraid of someone who can throw you in place you do not want. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, tomorrow, the solemnity of Christ the King, we formally end our liturgical year. And why do we celebrate it? To reaffirm our faith on someone who can give us life. Who can give us life. Sabi nga, hindi lahat ng kumakatok makakapasok. Bakit? Ano sabi ng Diyos? Hindi ko kayo kilala. Ano sabi nila? Lord, nakasama mo kaming kumain. Nakasama mo kaming ng, sa, sa iyong mga lakad. Mas masakit yung sinabi ng Diyos. Go away, you evil doers. It is an invitation to look into ourselves deeper. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, as I always say this, life is short and death is certain. Maiksi lang ang buhay. Maiksi lang ang buhay. Iniimbitahan ako ng mga seminarista to speak about my stroke. You know, when I had my stroke, I begin to worry less. Why I begin to worry less? Because nobody knows. Nobody knows. When I was there, lying, paralyzed, I didn't even know I have tomorrow. Diba? Wala na. You live one day at a time. And you begin to understand what is more important. What is more important? Or the second question, who is more important? As I always say this, when priorities are clear, decisions are easily made. Sometimes God has to shake us to understand and help us to understand what is really important. Ano ba talaga ang mahalaga? Sino ba talaga ang mas mahalaga? Mahirap yung ang tagal na natin sa mundong ito. Hindi pa rin natin alam po anong mas mahalaga o sinong mas mahalaga. Maiksi lang. You begin hopefully to ask yourselves and hopefully you understand already. Ang akin pong example, halimbawa dito ka pinanganak, dito ka mamamatay. There are always two corners. Di po ba? Sabi po ni San Agustin, the moment you are born, you are already dying because you are approaching the end of your life. Look at this two end. Nasaan ka dito? Nasaan kayo dito? Kayo ba'y nandito pa? O nandito na? Malapit na? Di po ba, ano? May sila ang buhay. Life is only 70, 80 for those who are strong. Di po ba? May silang yan. Nung bata ka, feeling mo ang haba. No po na? Life is only 70, 80 for those who are strong. I always say this. I pray that God will grant me the grace to reach 87. Because on my 86, I will celebrate my golden anniversary as a priest. Ba't naman 87, 86 na naman pala yung... Ay, huwag naman yung kasi celebrate mo lang, tingo ka ka, di ba? Mayroon namang... Mayroon namang dispedida, di ba? No? Di ba? Oh. Pero ako ay 60 na. So, kung makaka-86 ako, 26 years na lang, may na lang yung... 
Yun nga, 60 ang bilis eh. Yung 26 pa. Hindi po ba, ano? Oh. Nung na-straw ako, talagang, ay, ang lapit na. Totoong totoo. Hindi po ba? Ay, lampas na ako. Malapit na. Hindi po ba, ano? Ako yun. Ako yun. Pero yung iba sa inyo, sa mukha pa lang, alam ko, mas malapit na kayo. Hindi po ba, ano? Ano pang iniisip ninyo? Kailan kayo makikipagkasundo? When are you going to reconcile with people you're supposed to reconcile? When are you going to forgive the people you're supposed to forgive? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, there's no certainty for tomorrow. Napaka-morbid mo naman, Father. But that's the truth. Because in the morning of September 17, it was a normal day having my mass. In the afternoon, I had a wedding to officiate. At 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I was paralyzed. Ganun lang. Three weeks before that, I had my complete blood, I, my, my CBC. Nothing was wrong. Nothing was wrong. My doctor even said, you're as strong as a cow. Oh, a stroke. Di ba? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. When there is a beginning, there is always an end. Ang hindi lang natin alam when it will be. Amen. Please all stand. Some Sadducees who did not believe in the resurrection presented the case of a woman who had married seven brothers when one after another died. Jesus answered that they were misled in thinking that life at the resurrection would simply be a continuation of this earthly life. Let us put our trust in the Lord who is not God of the dead but of the living. In every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May human beings face the riddles of sorrow and death and the fear of perpetual extinction in the light of Christ, who has conquered death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May the Holy Spirit, who raised Jesus Christ from the dead, also bring to life our mortal bodies, because he dwells in us, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we set our eyes not only on the realities of this world, but also on the good things God has prepared for us in his kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May consecrated men and women who have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom of heaven witness to the joy of those who have found the pearl of great price, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we truly believe that what is true and genuine in human love on earth will not be lost but we but will be transformed into other life we pray lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for an end to the pandemic that the sick be healed that those who are but those who, who care for them be strengthened and help us all to persevere in faith and charity we pray lord hear our prayer god our loving father jesus your son is the firstborn of the dead where he is now, we hope someday to follow and to see our loved ones again. Increase our faith and our hope as we make our pilgrimage to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now share our love offerings as we continue with the liturgy of the Eucharist. Oh, sweet new down. 
Brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord 
for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Pray for your family. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio Petrocina and all the saints of Lysia throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will thy be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, Peace in our country and in the world. And grant you unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the resurrection in the light, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
I can heal where there are wounds. I can bite and hunger. I can Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray for the repose of the souls of our departed brothers and sisters. Lord, listen to our prayers for our departed brothers and sisters whose names we remember today. Kindly mention the names of your departed. We include all the names in the box. They have always desired to do your will, so in your mercy forgive whatever wrong they have done. By their faith, they were united with all your believing people. Now in love and mercy, give them a place with your angels and saints. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Invocation, let our response be, Lord, save your people. Lord, save your people. By your coming as man. Lord, save your people. By your birth. Lord, save your people. By your baptism and fasting. Lord, save your people. By your suffering and cross. Lord, save your people. By your death and burial. Lord, save your people. By your rising to new life. Lord, save your people. By your returning glory to the Father. Lord, save your people. By your gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, save your people. By your coming again in glory. Lord, save your people. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Nagplano akong mag-asawa. Hindi naman plinano yung magpari ako. Ano po? At nagre-rehearse ako para do sa I do, I do. Ano po? Sabi ko, pag tinanong ng pare, do you take this woman to be your wife? Ang sagot ko dyan ay, I did, I do, and I will. Dapat ganun, di po ba? No? Kahapon, ngayon, at bukas. Dapat may drama. Nung na-stroke ka, pag may nagtatanong, mamahalin mo pa ba rin ako? Mamahalin mo pa rin ba ako bukas? Titignan mo na lang. Bakit? Hindi ko alam kung nandito pa ako bukas eh. Kaya nga, kung kayo'y magmamahal, lubusin nyo na ngayon. Lubusin nyo na ngayon. Kasi baka bukas wala ka na. Di ba? Akala mo siya, ikaw, baka wala ka na. Di po ba, anak? Mahalin mo na. Huwag kayo magtitipid. Ha? The only certain in this world is uncertainty. Without Jesus, everything is uncertain. Without the resurrection, everything is uncertain. Kaya nga, pag ako'y nagpipilgrimage at sasabihin ng mga tao, Son of Father, pag ako na may namatay, wala kang pilgrimage para misahan mo ako, ang sagot ko doon ay, schedule natin. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Spirit that speaks your word.